Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for July 17th through August 16th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out, link for the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to Mystic Moon. Please stop by and show her some love and support if you can. Give her a like and a subscribe if you like what she has to say. She also has an Etsy shop. Um, she's created her own oracle decks as well as her tarot decks and she does offer readings so hopefully you get a chance to check her out. All right, Aquarius, what is your harsh truth? Aquarius. Also this may uh, resonate other than a romantic love read. I intend it for that but it could resonate otherwise for you like in another area of your life. Friends, family, job. Okay. The Hanged Man. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Page of Cups. Ace of Cups. Oh boy. Magician. Could be dealing with Gemini or Virgo there. Pisces. Seven of Cups. Chariot. Um, that could be Cancerian. And Three of Cups. All right. Hmm. All right. You get the rest laid out here. All right. So, what's this page of cups about for Aquarius? Nine of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Cups for Aquarius? Hermit. Hmm. What's this magician about? Gemini Virgo, what's this magician about? Knight of Swords, there you are Aquarius. Knight of Swords, all right, so what's this Seven of Cups about? So there's been some discussion or there's been um, something that you've recently become aware of that you, there's either been an awareness or a realization of something, um, learning something, learning about something new about this situation, some realizations, that sort of thing. What's this Seven of Cups about? Three of Pentacles, what's this Chariot about? And right now things are probably relatively calm. You both are probably in your separate corners. Um, I think the other person is kind of taking a time out, but they still want things to move forward. I think you're wanting time by yourself to think about how you feel and to look at your options. And you know what, I'm just, and the thing is, is that this is starting to overwhelm you and get to the point where you're starting to feel like you're backed into a corner or that you just, you don't know if you're coming or going. And it's starting to be like, no, you really need to leave me alone. Like you need to give me my space and my time. And I think the more you pull back, the more they're going to pursue. Um, it's like that, that whole, like, the more you do like this, the more they're going to pursue. It's this dance thing. So uh, what's this chariot about? What's this chariot? Two of wands. Okay. We got, yeah, the, okay. So this is, it feels like your person is not wanting, they're wanting to see this as a break, not a breakup. Whereas I think you're, probably and you two are in your separate corners there's kind of this calm right now but it is a much needed break for you because i feel like you were starting to feel like you got your back was getting in the corner here you're getting backed into a corner um there might have been a a fight or a verbal blow up could have been an online exchange that was rather heated where you you learned a few things came to some realizations or awarenesses about this situation and really just wanting to stay unto yourself and and kind of wanting to pull back. Um, the issue here for you is that you weren't made a priority or you might have felt like you were taken for granted. And that's really bothered you because for the Aquarians that I'm reading for, that's the one thing if you, if you uh, feel for somebody, you're, you're kind of ride or die about it. You're, um, everything else kind of plays second fiddle after you've you truly care for somebody and they weren't giving you the same uh at the time you weren't getting that from them and you were kind of put on the back burner and it, you were tired it, this wasn't the first time this came up 
it just, it was this time it reached the boiling point to where you're just like, you know what, I think I'm about to turn the corner here and I need my time and space. They're hoping for a break, not a breakup. Um, they're wanting to come back and talk about what they've realized, what they've discovered, what is news to them, what, you know, some epiphanies they might have had. Um, and maybe they have already, maybe that's that Knight of Swords is them coming in with, you know, oh my gosh, I just realized this, like out of the blue, unexpectedly reaching out, could be via social media or just showing up at your door, calling some kind of out of the blue, reaching out, um, wanting to talk about what they've realized or where they're at. But it, it feels like it's, it's coming on the tail end of them having some time to think about how they feel. We got the hermit here. Um, and how they can make this work. You know, that they, there's a love there still for them and they, they want to figure out how to make this work. Um, I still feel like you're very much wanting time and space to think about even that. You just, you kind of want to just be left by, your, by yourself. And you might be feeling like, okay, there's nothing I can do but here comes this person talking about wanting to make this sacrifice or wanting to show you what you mean to them now. They get it. They've thought about things. They understand. They might be saying all the right things. And I'm not being disrespectful. They honestly could have had this major epiphany. And it took you two breaking up finally after not this not being the first time. But it came to this now and you were serious. Maybe the energy shifted. But for some reason now they get it. Right? So, but you're just like, I just don't know. I just don't know. What's this three of what's this three of, of cups about? What's this three of cups about? Aquarius. Okay, so we've got three of cups in judgment. This is if they haven't asked for a reconciliation, they will. They also will be coming in hot out of the blue. It's gonna be an unexpected them coming back in, wanting to work things out, wanting to move forward. Give me a second chance, please. I'm sorry, I let me make it up to you. They're gonna say all the right things. They're gonna have the epiphany that you wanted them to have up until this point, that they didn't, that it took the breakup to get them to have. <laughs> what else for Aquarius? The, the hair hand. Okay, this, yeah, so this is, this is them coming back in wanting to provide you with the stability and the comfort that you had been repeatedly asking for in the relationship and now they finally get it and they're wanting to come back in and make it work. Um, and you are really wanting time and space to deal with this. And this could very well be that they've just come back in and that's why you're just like, oh my God, you're really showing up as just wanting to kind of be under yourself and think about how you feel and kind of be hands off right now and leave everything just the way it is. And yet they're really wanting, they're, they're being kind of um, pushy or just not wanting to give you that time or space because they're afraid that if they give you time or space that you're going to be like, you know what, I think I'd rather just leave things the way they are now and we just go our separate ways. They don't want to give you time and space to think about something. It's almost like they want to love bomb you so that they can, I hate to say it, but kind of maybe get pressure you into a decision again not in a bad way but i think it's really weighing on them how they might have screwed up and if they're able to give you time to let that wash over you they're afraid they might lose you so there's that um so hold on a minute am i looking at all right so anyway uh so you've either got a reunion with this person that's going to lead to a request for a reconciliation and it might even start with something like you know i've been thinking a lot about things and i realized how i've screwed up I mean, we've got the hermit here we got the judgment and i i really want to make it up to you i'm really sorry just da -da 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 -da, rapid fire but this is huge for this person we got the hermit we got judgment hierophant magician this is huge for them quite pivotal quite significant um, so just know that if they're coming in hot, that's why they, it's like, they've just realized in the time apart how much, uh, they, well, we've got this ace of cups here, how much they love you. Just saying. I don't know that it was that significant for you though. 
Either they're laying it on thick because they think that's what you want to hear, um, or it really is quite significant for them. The reason why I, I am like, okay, either it's really significant or they're going to play like it is and tell you everything they want to hear and get back to it. Because we have the Magician and we have the Knight of Swords. Two very independent, powerful, controlling energies that don't take no for an answer. So I, that's the only thing that makes me kind of, and, and we got the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles right here. And it's like, ooh, is that because of the Magician and the Knight of Swords here? That really kind of intense, controlling master manipulator energy and you know master manipulator that can be used for good too right but it's just like is that why we're wanting this um you know you're wanting that whole nine of pentacles wanting your space to think about things i think you're uh, very wisely so i do i feel like you're going to consider this person's offer and i feel like you're going to leave the door open for them to prove to you over time that there can be that stability and that commitment you do feel a connection to this person, um, you know, partly because of that, the whole, this is somebody that's not only are they, are they used to getting their way, but they are, they do have that something, something that people gravitate towards. It, they just do. So I think you could see yourself feeling deeply or deeper for them if they were to prove themselves over time. This, you know, it's your life, your call. This is a general reading you're going to do you. Um, so the potential's there. It's just, should you or shouldn't you? I feel like, I mean, my, my gut read on this, my intuitive read, I feel like this is, um, I don't know. I honestly, I feel like you've been here before. And this person knows exactly what to say and how to say it and come on like gangbusters and attack you with their love. <laughs> and it's very charming and it's, it makes you feel swept off your feet. And it just, you know, the ro I mean, you do like the romance of it, but that's not stability. That's romance and that's connection and that's passion and lust and mystery and even anxiety, but it's not stability. So if, if you're wanting the stability, this, this is not, stability is not represented here. If, if you're wanting, oh yeah, but it's going to be stable, that's not represented here. This is just someone wanting a foot in the door. The rest is going to be up to you too. But they have thought about it quite a bit. They have had a reckoning, shall we say. I'll give them that. <laughs> All right, what else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? The tree, well, there's a stability. Mm, this isn't this I mean this could be unmoving and stable but this is more about past life connection or a long lasting connection to someone even that soulmate connection where you might feel like you've known them before or you've just known them so long that you kind of are inclined to have them in your life some in some capacity because this is somebody that might have you know you might have roots with them shall we say um, seven of cups doubling down on the confusion or you know kind of feeling like all right I need my space I'm overwhelmed right now. That could, this could also be the seven of cups. This could represent that sort of soulful or soulmate connection. You feel that rush of emotion, that overwhelming um, love and passion and, and, you know, wanting, we got the three of pentacles here. It could be wanting to work things out. There's that. I just, I'm just a little worried because of this magician and the knight of swords here. That can be quite intense and it can, it's someone that's very savvy and does whatever it takes and knows what it takes to to get the end result that they want and sometimes i mean they you know it's kind of um a means to an end sometimes they they, they don't take any um they don't pull any punches when they're going after what they want um. what else for aquarius this, we got judgment. This could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. This could be Taurus here. Virgo, Cancerian, Pisces, Gemini, or Virgo, Aquarius. Right, what else for Aquarius? Two of Wands. Yeah, there we go. We see it right here. Two of Wands. 
And the thing is, you know, it, it could be that this person is not, just, maybe they're just trying to figure their life out and that gets put on hold because they don't want to lose you. So they abandon that and they come rushing back in and they want to talk, you know, because they've had this, they, they realize what they've done wrong and they really, maybe they're sincere. I don't want to talk trash about them. Obviously you're reading your life, but Aquarius, I just, I, this, if you're wanting stability, this is, this is not it. At least not at this stage of the game. This right here is just them getting their foot in the door. And I know I just said this, but there's nothing here that represents stability. It's all kind of passion, romance, and um, initiation, or not initiation, like um, initial action. But what's going to happen after that remains to be seen. Because this is just the getting their foot in the door and then discussion stage. This isn't, and maybe talking about how they're going to do things, but it's not anything based on stability. So I just want you to be aware of that. And if you're okay with it, then okay. But if what you're wanting is stability, I mean, we got pentacles, pentacles, and then the hierophant here. It's not looking like that's what they're leading with. They're not opening with that. <laughs> what else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, so we've got... That is the six, yeah? Right? Oh my goodness. Si oh my goodness. Six of cups and six of wands. Look at that. This is, um, this could be saying don't throw in the towel yet. You know, consider working things out with this person. This is somebody that's quite pivotal. Again, with that soulmate connection, that past life connection, somebody you've known for quite a long time, or you feel like this person could be that very significant person to go the distance with in your life. And it, that could be maybe while you're thinking about working things out with them. We got the three of pentacles here and then we've got the six of cups and the six of wands. So that's all about teamwork, working together, revisiting the past for resolution. In this case, it could be reconciliation. And we've got the three of, pen three of cups and the judgment. So, you know, a, a reunion could lead to a reconciliation. There's that. Six of cups, six of wands. Wow. Could that honestly, that's like a vote in their favor by saying, you know, con consider working as a team or working things out and revisiting the past or someone from your past. Successful resolution. Could be a definite point in their favor, advocating, saying, and you know, of course, again, your life, your call, but. I don't know. This is, this is giving the thumbs up if you wanted to consider a reconciliation. Okay. Shut my mouth. Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. Um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. I hope, um, wow, I'm, I'm shocked by this, honestly, because I'm like, oh, I don't know. About this. But this right here, I mean, you know, off the top turnbuckle in the last minute of the reading, you know, there we go. <laughs> the tight turn, but... Okay. I wish you luck. I truly do. I, I hope this pans out for you. I, I hope you feel confident about whatever decision you make so that you can go boldly into the future. Honestly. Okay. I thank you for stopping by. Um, take care and I hope to see you in the next reading.